out. Oop, see what I just did? <laughs> you don't want to do what I just did. I'm trying to demonstrate and I couldn't see it well. So I'm applying quite a bit because I'm just so sick and tired of being sick and tired, you know? Always keep a small little scissor, okay, in your situation. Keep the small little scissor. Left and right wiggly and then we twirl. Eeny, me, beginny. If you remember that, comment and let me know. If you don't, I don't know who you are. What up, what's going on, to say? It's your girl, Mina Dubia, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how I put on my eyelashes. So I have, of course, already done my makeup, and I actually filmed another video before this one. It was about how I apply my eyeliner. So if you wanna learn how to do that, make sure you watch that video after this one. If you're not following me on Instagram or TikTok, make sure you are doing that, and also subscribe, thumb this video up if you do find it helpful, because it is definitely a teaching style kind of video. We are gonna go into all the details. I hope that it helps you. you you know what I'm saying? So for beginners, advanced, intermediates, this video is definitely for you. I wanna start off by saying that the only lashes that I wear, unless, I don't even know, like it just has to be something random, the only lashes that I wear, or I have been wearing for many, many years now, are these lashes from AliExpress. I have so many of them, I'm always buying them. They're less than $3, I buy them 10 or 20 at a time, and I just keep recycling through them. I do use either D20 or D22. I normally use D22, they're a lot more dramatic, and y'all love them. Now I need to do my nails again so I don't look too hard at them, okay? Y'all love these lashes. Every time that I wear them, y'all wanna know what the T is. It's always the same. AliExpress D22. I have the link down below to this and the glue that I'm gonna use. I want you to make sure you look at that. It comes from China. It might take a month to get to you. Buy it in bulk, it's worth it, okay? These are my favorite, favorite fluffy 5D lashes. Of course, wear whatever lash you wanna wear. Do whatever your heart desires. I'm gonna do what my heart desires and my heart always desires a thick, fluffy statement lash. So when I take it out of the box, the key to making sure that you don't rip off the lashes from the band, which I have done, and I still do sometimes when I'm in a rush, is you don't want to be too rough when taking them out. Now, there are two ways you can take your lashes out of the container. You can use your finger in the same direction as the lash and push hard. You can't really see this that good, but toward the top of it, and then you pull, oop, <laughs> you pull it off that way, okay, where you still have the lash in hand. And then, of course, when you put it down, Keep it on one side so that you know that this is the right lash. Or you can take your tweezers and you can grab the lash at the tip. Make sure you grab it at the tippity tip and then you can pull it out. Oop, see what I just did? You don't wanna do what I just did. I'm trying to demonstrate and I couldn't see it well. This is what I was trying to avoid. I just pulled off a piece of lash, so annoying. Okay, well, it happens, whatever. Now let me do this while I'm looking at it because I clearly couldn't do it on camera the correct way. Pulling it off from one side and then you have a lash off. But we still gonna make it do what it do, okay? So like, whatever, stuff happens. Now, what I like to do is cut off the two ends because there's always extra piece of band, whatever. So I'm gonna cut that off because who needs that? I don't like to leave that. If you leave that, comment and let me know. I don't be doing that. So cut off that extra band, of course, keeping the lashes on either side in front of you so that you know which is left, which is right. Just go based on how it was placed inside the container. All right, so we've cut that off. Always keep a small little scissor, okay, in your situation. Keep the small little scissor. You know that I am a recovering bonding glue user, okay? We've already talked about this, and I know I was not the only one. I bet you you were using bonding glue too, and you might actually still be using it. Praise the Lord. So these days we are doing things better, you know, and I am now an avid user of this Kiss INV Super Stronghold Eyelash Adhesive, okay? And this is pretty cool. It gets the job done, you know? It's a wand and you just apply it onto the lash. When it's fresh, it's very liquidy. So there have been times where I was in a rush putting it onto the lash band and it flicked across, just slowed down, okay? The more used it is, the thicker it is, it, to me, just works better, okay? We need to pin the hair bag, number one, because we can still be cute huh, when you see the lace. This is a four by four. Don't blame me. Now, what I like to do is I always put on mascara. I don't do lashes without mascara. If you one of those, comment and out yourself. You put on lashes without mascara, 
first of all, do what you want to do. Second of all, if you want to know how I do, don't do that. <laughs> don't do it. The mascara that I use on my top lash, I don't think too much about because I'm going to put a false lash on it. The one I'm using right now though, for the first time is this Maybelline, the Colossal Curl Bounce. If you've used this, I want you to comment and let me know. I don't know how it'll perform, but again, I'm gonna put false lashes on. So whatever I use on top, ain't gonna matter. You feel me? Okay, so what is this doing? It's not even, I don't even see anything. Okay. When I put the false lash on, I'm gonna press that together with my lashes and it needs something to stick to. And the mascara is what it's going to stick to. That's why I use mascara. I mean, if you're putting on lashes, and not using mascara, I'm scared of you. Like, who are you? You know, are you are you a demon? Because how are you connecting your lashes? Or better question is, are you even connecting your lashes to the false ones? Because if you're not, I also want to know if you're a demon. You know, it's just questionable. It's very questionable. This mascara ain't doing anything special for the kid. It's just whatever. Like, it's not even putting enough product on my lashes. Like, okay. Now, honestly and truly, ideally, I would have applied the glue before I applied my mascara in order to allow it to dry, but I was too busy talking. You see what I'm saying? So I'm gonna show you what I do when I don't have time to wait for it to dry. Okay, so we're gonna take the glue and wipe it onto the lash like so. I'm not gonna go too close because my nails need to be done again and y'all ain't gonna get me, you're not gonna get me like that, but you get the idea. Brush it on. Now with the bonding glue, yo, I knew exactly how much to put on. I knew what it was. You feel what I'm saying? Like we knew each other cause we have been together for so long. Now with this, it's been less than a year. It's been less than six months. So sometimes I don't be knowing what's going on. And then you see me in the vlog and my lash is hanging off. It's just like a problem. And you would think that at this time, at this time, in stage of my life, I wouldn't have such problems, but sometimes I do. It's just very problematic for me. And I just hate to admit it, but sometimes it be happening to the best of us. So I'm applying quite a bit because I'm just so sick and tired of being sick and tired, you know? So I applied an ample amount. What I love though, is I don't be finding myself having to pull off the glue when I wanna reapply the lash. So it don't be getting clumpy like the bonding glue do. But we know the bonding glue is not for lashes anyway. I get that. Don't don't comment about that. Comment. Not about that, because I get it, okay? We understand that. Okay, so now here it is, right? And I'm thinking, oh my gosh, I didn't let it dry before I put on my mascara. Who has time? I can't lie to you. I will blow my lashes and or do this fashion. Now, what is uncomfortable about this practice and that practice is that as a makeup artist, a former makeup artist where I took clients, it would be the death of me to ever put my body air, body air, you know, on a lash for a client. But I no longer take clients, so I allow myself to do some things that I would never do, you know, with a client, and that is to <sighs> blow onto it now. The hot air gonna dry a lot better than the cool air, but of course, I also do the fanning situation too. Now, with the bonding glue, what I loved is that, cause it's, it's gray, and when it got a little darker black, it was ready to be applied. This is straight up black. So I'd be so confused, like, is it ready, is it not? So I'd be looking, and honestly, I think it's ready, okay? And like I said, sometimes even the best of us be having a lash hanging off. But let's just pray to the Lord that in this video, it ain't gonna be me, okay? He's worthy. So the mascara shouldn't be too dry, but with all this talking, it probably is. I like to apply my, my, my fingers. You might think that that's demonic, but I like to have full control of my lash. I apply in the middle and then I press it toward the outer part of my eye area and I wiggle it to really make sure that it's touching my skin and not just my hairs. And then I press it, making sure that it's touching my skin. Give it a wiggle so that it's actually on your skin and not on the hair. It's gonna touch the hair inevitably, we get that. But you wanna give it a wiggle because you wanna feel it on the skin. What I love is when I apply my lash, and see I'm pressing, right? We gotta move fast. So don't have this to dry. What I love is that when I apply my lash, clean your finger if you need to, and go back and keep pressing, and I feel it cold on my skin, I know that it was perfect because it doesn't need to be too dry. You do want to feel it cold on the skin so you know that it's going to adhere. Now let's do this part. With all that talking, this might be too freaking dry. Oh no, okay, I still feel it a little bit cold. Press on the outer part of the eye and then come press it on the middle. Now because I do this so often, I know exactly where to put the lash. I do understand wiping off the top because I did make a little mess. Wipe it off quickly and then 
go back and press. I do understand that getting the placement might take you some time, but the more you do it, the better. And we do have to move quickly with lashes. So now I'm pressing because I don't want my lash to be too dry because remember, we put on mascara with the intent to mold it with the false lash. So you do want it to still be a little bit wet. Your finger will get dirty, clean it. Put some paper towels in front of you and let's keep moving. If you don't have that, toilet troll. That also works, okay? Clean your fingers. And then we are pressing to mold our lash with the lash because when you turn your eye and look out this way, you don't want there to be a differentiation between the false lash and your lash. You want it as best as possible to all go together, hence the need for the mascara. And then we trying to press, you feel what I'm saying? And honestly and truly, that's what it is. We is done, okay? And then my problem is always the inner. So really make sure that you have pressed that onto the skin, okay? You want it onto the skin more than you want it onto your lash because when you remove this, you don't want to be pulling out your lashes. Although I have pulled out my fair share of lashes. I really have. In fact, I'm actually going to be testing out a lash growth thingamajiggy, you know? More to come on that. So these are the lashes, baby. And sometimes it be too curved down. So the more you put your lashes on, you'll learn to, toward the end, glue it a little bit high so that it doesn't make your eyes look droopy. And or when you have finished putting it on, just do this, you know, to fluff it up. The lashes are a little bit different as you can see right here, but I don't care. I don't be care about that. That doesn't matter, okay? The lashes are on and that is what matters. Are your lashes on? That's the question, okay? Now, when it comes to the bottom lash, you know that I love to use Lawless One and Done because it is so good. It is the best mascara I have used in a long time. I used to love It Cosmetics Superhero. I still do love it. This one definitely is a lot better. If that one is fantastic, this one is superb. Okay, so here's how I applied my bottom mascara. We are already here, so let's talk about that because that is really going to amplify the look. So let's do that. So in a left and right mo wiggly motion, and then you go up. Left and right wiggly, then you go up. But when you go up, let's give it a twirl, okay? We're giving it a rotation here. Left and right wiggly, and then we twirl. Left and right wiggly, and we twirl, okay? In the beginning. <laughs> remember that meme or that video on, on Instagram? In the beginning. If you remember that, comment and let me know. If you don't, I don't know who you are. And see, look at it, baby. Now my bottom eyeliner is thick, so, you know, we have a smoky situation going on here. However, you can't deny that there's a difference, you know? So let's do the other side. This looks so good. You cannot tell me that this didn't come out cute. I want you to comment and let me know if this tutorial was helpful for you, okay? This is the finished look. If you look too close, sometimes you'll notice that your lash is clumped up underneath the lash. If that's the case, what I do is take my tweezers and separate out your lashes so that it's not a clumpy, disgusting mess. And that actually happens only if the top Top mascara is a clumpy kind of mascara, hence why I used the clumpy one on the bottom because I do want it to be pronounced and chunky on the bottom, but not on the top. So actually, you want to use a mascara that is a little more thin so that when you are pressing it and doing it, it's not all chunky, okay? Note to self right there, ya. Like I said, I hope the video was helpful for you. I want you to comment and let me know if one, do you like thick, fluffy 5D lashes like these? I want to know. And number two, let me know if you you don't know what you're doing with your lashes and if you're gonna try the technique I just used. Number three, let me know if you are still confused. <laughs> because if you are, girl, I'm gonna add to my prayers, okay, in the name of Jesus. All right, I'm gonna leave two more videos for you to watch after this one. Stick around and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Bye.